What's up? It's Mr. M from GSA Industries and Project Paper Chase Records. This is Mr. M full send. For this video, we're going to be doing a follow-up on the Beast module, Super Beast module 12 volt conversion. Um, what we're going to be reviewing in this video is how to hook up a balancer, a 4S balancer to the Beast module. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up the camera so that we can see what's going on and I'll go through the steps, how you connect a uh, 4S uh, battery management system or balancer to the modified Super Beast module, the 12 volt conversion. So one of the very first things you're gonna notice is that this particular beast module has had all of its cells removed. That does not change the process. Uh, this is the identical bank that I used to make the modification video. These are the same jumpers. Um, I have added plate numbers. So when you look at a 4S, uh, a 4S, um, lithium bank that's four cells in series so the most basic 4s bank of batteries looks like that it is four cells stacked end to end where you use the outside positive and negative as your terminal plates so these two plus and minus are your plus and minus here now, if you take that diagram and you number the plates in the same order, starting with one as your positive, you come up with this numbering system, plate one, plate two, plate three, plate four, and plate five. Now, the reason we have plates in between here and they're not just stacked end to end is because we have more than one battery connected. So the plates enable us to connect multiple cells together at these locations. So as you can see from this beast module, I've numbered the positive plate one and the negative plate from this particular 4S 6P, six cells in parallel, four in series, to the two terminal plates, one and five. On the other side, you have a second set of 4S 6P uh, parallel to the other one but in the opposite direction. So you have your your five plate here and your one plate here. And now I've jumpered my two ones together and my two fives together so that we have a single output battery unit. Um, so what we're looking at is something like this. You have two 4S arrangements side by side. Now the problem is your twos and fours do not line up if you look at the back of the plates or the back plates that's where your two three plates are now one could go uh, about two routes one could either jumper the three plates together much like we did the ones and fives or you could just wire to both of these because as you can see the balancer has five wires those five wires correspond to the five plates now it may or may not be obvious but your positive wire connects to your positive number one plate that's your first balancer wire now your next balancer wire is and always on the outside of your jumper your black wire now one might think it goes somewhere crazy but if it's not obvious it goes to the five or the negative terminal plate over here. Now, again, if you're you that this is particularly relevant if you're using this arrangement of cells and you're not changing the orientation or putting new plates on or anything like that. This is simply for your very basic 
super beast module modification. The next thing you have to do is connect your three plates. I mean, you could do it in any order. You could do your twos and fours. In this particular case, I'm going to do the three plates. So what I've done here is I've pulled the wiring harness off of the battery. I cut this off because I'm never going to use it again. And what I'm going to do is look for two wires with lugs on the end of them, not the ones that have two wires coming off of them. This is the thermistor. It's for a temperature sensor. It has two red wires coming off. We don't want that one. There's a couple of them. There's another one there. But what we want are the ones that have uh, lugs on the end of them. So we're going to pull that guy out. And then we're going to pull... Oh, and this is the loom off of it. You probably had loom on yours as well. We're going to pull out two of these. So we've got a blue one here. And we've got a black one here. And what I'm going to do, because I'm not interested in messing around, is I'm going to connect these directly to the yellow wire off of the balancer. Now, I've actually made this balancer for uh, a standard uh, 4S bank with, with aluminum plates on it. It's not a modified beast module. But for the intents of this video, essentially what you would do is attach these two lugs, much like I have this lug, to here, like this. And we're just gonna tape them for demonstration purposes. We're not actually gonna be connecting anything because there's no cells in this. It's not gonna work anyway. So you have your yellow wire with your yellow, with your two, now you have essentially two lugs coming off of it. Obviously, this won't do anything. There's no wires connected. But in reality, you would strip your yellow wire, you would connect your two lug wires from your beast module, wiring harness to that, solder it, shrink tube it, whatever, make an actual electrical connection. Not what I've done here. Do not do this. This is completely useless. It will accomplish nothing. It is for demonstration purposes only. So theoretically, you now have two lugs coming off your yellow wire from your balancer now what i'm going to do with those yellow wires hmm, that's weird is connect them to the three plates the this is great because my fingers can't turn the screw so we connect one lug to this plate and one lug to the other plate this thing's into the same shit isn't it great this this guy so now we've got our yellow lead off of the balancer. For... Try not to drop this bullshit again. So you have two wires going to your three plate, your shared three plate again, or you could jumper it and have a single wire going to it. Also serves the same purpose. The next thing we need to do to make this function is connect our twos and fours and because they don't line up and they can't be connected uh and it's nearly impossible i mean there are ways to jumper them but that would involve disassembling the whole bank anyway and then why wouldn't you just make a, a standardized uh lithium bank to use this we're going to use the tabs that are in the uh off of the wiring harness from the beast module. So all together, we're gonna need four of them. And of course, they should have plenty because they literally came off of the beast module. So there's two uh, spade connectors and then we're gonna pull two more, if I can get two more off of here easily. And we're gonna get them off, just easily is the, is the real question here. Well, there's only two more. This one. And where's the other one? This one. That's good. Wire actually will come in handy for some other project for sure. Keep it. So now each of these needs two. We've got yellow connected, we've got red and black connected from the the um uh, balancing module, uh, um, harness. Now we need to connect white and green. Now white comes in between 
red, and yellow. So if yellow is three and red is one, then white must go to plate number two. So what we have to do is connect our two jumpers to white and then connect the two that are connected to white to the two two plates in the Beat Super Beast module. So once again, we're gonna strip them. Now, again, you would not just tape these to the white lead. You would actually strip the white lead and make an electrical connection between these wires. Again, this is a demonstration. I am not gonna make an electrical connection between these. I am only doing this for demonstration purposes. So I'm simply going to tape these wires to the white lead. Now this will connect the two, theoretically speaking, tabs to the white lead on the balancing harness. Now those need to go to plate two. So if you walk yourself through your number one plate is here, cells here, this plate right here is a number two plate. So we're gonna put one of these spade connectors onto that number two plate. Then if we go to the other side, you have a one plate here. The next plate in series here is gonna be your other number two plate. So what we're gonna do is connect this one to this number two plate. Now we have all of our balancing wires except for green connected to the plates on the beast module. Because green is between black and yellow and it's the only plate left, we will be connecting the two wires off of green that we're gonna connect to the green two plates the two number four plates. So that being said, we will take these wires and we will strip them. Even though we're not actually making any functional electrical connections, we are simply doing this for demonstration purposes. Once again, I will repeat myself over and over and over. This is for demonstration purposes only. We now connect this you will strip this and connect these two wires to the green wire off of your balancer like this. So now we have two spade terminals coming off of your number four plate wire and we only have two plates left to connect to. If you wanna count backwards, go to your five plate, your cell comes off your five plate and the very next plate is your four plate. Look at that, it has an, an available tab to connect to. Okay, if I can get this on here, like that. Now, if we go to the other side, we have our five plate here. Cell would be here, this would be your number four plate. Look at that, another available tab. So now we have all of our wires connected. Oh, it's going to go on here to the balancer. So let's do a wire count here. We have one red and black going directly to the harness from yet uh, from white number wire number two goes to two wires. So now we have three all together and those go to your number two plates. We then have your number three off of your harness going to two wires. So that is five wires. We then have off of your number four wire, green, two. That puts us at seven wires total connecting to the Beast Super Beast module. And finally, we have wire number five, black, which is connected directly to your Beast Nut module, giving you a total of eight wires. Altogether, there are eight wires being connected to the Beast module to make this balancer function. I will put the link to this. Uh, I bought it on Amazon uh, to, to purchase these off Amazon. And uh, that simply gets plugged in here. And this is an active balancer that will balance 
all 48 cells in the Super Beast module now if connected in this way. Again, all these connections need to be made legitimately. They cannot be just taped together. This will do absolutely nothing. But for demonstration purposes, you can see the process that was involved in connecting a balancer to a Super Beast module. That is how you do it, my friends. Um, if you have any questions, post them in the comments. You can also message me directly on uh, my Instagram messenger or if you're on Facebook, you can message me there as well. I'm always happy to answer questions. Anyway, that is it for wiring a, a battery management system, BMS or balancer to a modified Super Beast module. Thank you for checking out this video. Hopefully you'll hit that subscribe button.